Long before the internet, people sent signals over wires with electricity and created a global network of instant messages, the telegraph. A century later, people used parts created by the telecommunications industry to build digital computers. But these computers stood alone until they got multiple users, connected by terminals over phone lines, the first online communities. But these communities couldn't talk to each other. Then, those communities began to connect to each other, forming the first general-purpose computer networks. By the early 1970s, there were several different kinds of networks, but they couldn't talk to each other. So, some of the networks connected to each other in networks of networks, called internets. ARPA had three networks they needed to join together in an internet. The land-based ARPANET, a mobile network, and a satellite network. They worked with groups around the world to develop their own internet working method, TCP. SRI had outfitted a van as a mobile network node. On August 27, 1976, the van was parked next to Rosati's in Portola Valley, California. Far enough from SRI to be a real test, close enough for good radio contact. The team's weekly report was sent from the picnic tables in the courtyard behind the bar, connecting the packet radio network, PRNet, to the ARPANET through SRI. It was a major field test of TCP. On November 22, 1977, teams in several states and countries coordinated to set up the first full-scale transmission using TCP. Data was sent over the packet radio network from the SRI van, through the ARPANET, to Europe, then back to the SRI van via the satellite network and ARPANET. Over the next few weeks, the van successfully tested this connection all over the Bay Area. The standard we use today, later renamed TCP-IP, was born. It would be 15 years before it beat several powerful competitors to become the standard for connecting the online world, from email to cat videos. But it started with SRI's van.